when when you are completely done with your project like uh, uh, your project is completely built and you want to showcase it to someone or uh, you want to upload it somewhere you have something called uh, we have something called github right so to connect your project to github so we have something called commit and push operations which we will do to upload your code from your laptop to uh, github so to do that in android studio we directly have some options where you can directly commit your project to uh, android studio commit your project from android studio to github to do that uh, in the file section on the top we have something called vcs this is a version control of android studio where you will be able to uh, version control this project and uh, share this to github to do that uh, click on the enable version control integration you will see a pop-up screen appearing to specify your uh, project route where you want to get it to in the drop down you make sure that it is get and click on ok this will uh, run the commit uh, creating the repository things and uh, on the left corner you will see a pop-up called uh, created github repository uh, after that for doing that uh, after you uh, get the github uh, uh, created repository thing uh, you will get the commit and uh, tokens here so click on the green tick option uh, which is called commit when you press that uh, this will generate all the files which are on version so check the box to make it version so to version control those things so these are all the files which you have on the project below that you will see here a uh, commit message thing in that um, type this thing called initial commit so when you click on commit this will run all the files this will perform an uh, uh, code analysis on uh, your project and specifies you with the errors and uh, uh, the warnings which you have so ignore the warnings uh, some of them may be from the versions of uh, android studio so if there are any errors like syntactical errors sir, before uploading your code make sure you don't have all those and uh, click on commit so you can see on the left corner that 40 files committed you can see here the vcs is converted to git and uh, in that go to github and click on the direct uh, share your project on git so when you press that you will see this uh, file popping up uh, specify the repository name uh, make sure it doesn't have white spaces except the uh, underscore and all so in here uh, where do you want to share this uh, you don't have any account right so click on add account so when you click on that in this drop down you will see these three things uh, which you can be able to uh, connect to github so you can directly connect it to github by logging through the JetBrains profile and uh, authorizing the JetBrains with uh, github but uh, sometimes there will be a problem coming up with that so uh, click on the second one login with uh, tokens then uh, you will be asked to create a token so click on the generate and you create click on generate you will be directed to a chrome screen uh, in that to your uh, github account make sure your GitHub account is logged in so it will directly uh, integrates with the github to provide a token for it so when you come down uh, click on the generate token here so github will generate a key like token thing to get access to the github api from android studio copy this thing here and uh, go to android studio um, paste this thing and click on add account then go to git here github and share your product on it already on github as uh, we specified it before right so uh, share it there. make sure the name changes click on share
as you can see below uh, you will have push into github master so this code is been used and successfully share the project on github this pop-up will appear when you share the project successfully so click on this thing now you will be able to see the project files so this is the whole project which you have done it is committed to github so after doing this uh, to run your project on different devices so to make this uh, project run on different devices you need to have something called apk so you heard of apk files right so apk files are those uh, which when you don't uh, update it on uh, google play store or so so with apk files you can directly download the application and use so some of the applications you will be using that way uh, you don't have it on Google Play Store. So to do that, in Android Studio, we have uh, here build. In that build, go to the build bundles or APKs thing and click on build APK. So this will, uh, the Gradle will run the process and uh, creates an APK files for you. One will be an APK file and a JSON file will be generated. So with those two, you can be able to download the app into your uh, mobile applications so let me show you that so it takes time to build the gradle so, yeah. when you are completely done with the uh, gradle build thing you get a print apk pop up here In that uh, click on locate so this will show you the dot apk file and dot json file uh, in your uh, folders and on the directory so you can directly share these two things uh, um, to someone who wants to or uh, you can post it on github too so when these two things are uh, downloaded on the uh, download on mobile you can be able to download the application which you have built